Another man. If I was hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to another episode of DIYing with me, Laura DIY. So lately I have been super, super obsessed with knuckle rings or meaty rings, and I always seem to have trouble either finding my size, or as soon as I do find a good set, I always tend to lose them. So today I'm going to be showing you how to DIY four different methods of knuckle rings. And this DIY is totally on a budget and so, so cheap, so we can just hop right in and I hope you guys enjoy it. You're going to need wire, flat or needle nose pliers, wire cutters, super glue, a tube of mascara or lip gloss, and some old earrings, charms, or beads. I'm going to start by unraveling a few inches of the wire and wrapping it around the tube to start forming the shape of my finger. Next, pop the wire onto your finger and tighten the shape by adjusting the end so that it fits comfortably. And the next step is going to be the basic starting and finishing point of the ring, so you'll be doing this at the beginning and end of each ring. So taking my pliers, I'm going to pull the wire around to make a little loop that's going to lay flat against your finger. And go ahead and snip off the excess wire once you've finished your loop. Next, I'm going to repeat the same steps on the ending side of the ring, and you'll notice that the loops kind of face away from each other, but still lay flat against your finger. And you can use the pliers to do this either with the ring just in your hands, or also while it's on your finger. And that is the first basic ring. These are super cute to layer, or just wear for a sleek and polished look. This next ring is a little bit more tricky, so start by unraveling some wire, but use a little bit extra this time, and then repeat the same steps to fit the wire to your finger. And once it fits comfortably, go ahead and make the closing loop on one of the ends. Cause something died, but I survived Oh, life is bittersweet Now to start the heart, with the unfinished end of the wire, I'm just going to pull it away from the ring into a curve. Next, using a small makeup brush, I'm going to wrap the wire around the end of it to make the left side of the heart. And then using the pliers, carefully loop the wire into a super small loop in the middle, so that the wire can go into the next half of the heart. But I survived Life is bittersweet, so bittersweet. When your life is incomplete, when two lovers must admit. And then we're gonna finish off the heart using the makeup brush again. And essentially, to close the heart, we're gonna bring the end of the wire around the starting point of the heart, wrap it around once, and snip off the extra. And you can flatten that finishing loop with the pliers so that it lays flat against your finger. So bittersweet. So bittersweet. For the third method, this one is super, super simple. So I'm going to do the beginning steps of fitting the wire to my finger and then taking the pliers, find the middle and make a V-shaped dent in the wire. Next, we're just going to pull the ends back into a rounded shape and finish off the ends with the beginning and closing loops. And that is it. Act like there was somewhere we were going And if we catch each other's eye There could be no lie This feeling's deep beneath the wind I'd show it the fourth method, I'm using a little bow earring and snipping off the back of it with my wire cutters. And then with the ring, I'm going to repeat the whole process, but this time we're going to add a little loop right in the middle of the ring so it'll be front and center. This is where the earring is going to be attached, and the loop gives it just a place to sit once it's glued down. So once you've made the middle loop, bend the rest of the wire back into a ring shape and finish off the ends as you normally would. Next, I'm going to use some super glue to dab a tiny dot onto the back of the earring, and I'm going to carefully place the loop onto the back and hold that there for about 30 seconds. And then let that sit, and you are all done! So thank you so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY, and now for the giveaway rules. So the first one is that you must be subscribed to my channel, Lord DIY, which you can do by clicking right here. And then the second rule is that you must be subscribed to Awesomeness TV, which you can do by clicking right here. 
And then in the comments down below, let me know what kind of DIYs you would like to see in the next episode. And then you must also follow me on Twitter, which is just at LordDIY. And if you don't have Twitter, the alternative is just checking back on my Twitter page on the day that the giveaway ends. So this giveaway is international and will close one week from the day it was posted. And again, the winner is going to be posted on my Twitter page. So just make sure if you don't have Twitter that you do check at the end of the day on my Twitter page to see if you won. And the winner is going to be receiving the heart knuckle ring. So I thought that that was maybe the hardest one that people might not really want to attempt. So I figured that I would give it away to one of you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next episode. Bye guys! Hi, I'm Nikki and I'm Gabby and we're Nikki and Gabby Beauty from here on YouTube. If you need any inspirations on what outfits to wear this week, then make sure to watch our show Outfits of the Week on Awesomeness TV. Bye! Bye.